In this video, we're going to show you how to configure the IPL to capture license plate for snapshot-based recording. So first, I'm going to log into my camera here. Note, you must use Internet Explorer. I'm just using the default password uh, that the camera is shipped with. And we're going to first go into our live view. Here we have live view already pulled up. And we're going to go over here to config LPR, that's license plate recognition. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to bring me into here. Now first of all, we have it zoomed all the way out. And this is just how we were testing the camera. Um, and you can certainly zoom in. And if you're, you're going to be looking down a far away, far enough away from the camera, you're going to want to. Right now we've only configured this to work about 10 to 15 feet away uh, with these squares that you see on the screen. So if you wanted to zoom in, of course, that's going to affect how your square is, is working and how everything would be coming into frame. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to zoom back out. You would obviously have to trial and error um, your rectangles and everything that I'm about to explain to you in this video for the distances that you're going to be at. So to start, first you're going to want to draw your region. Um, here you have we have our region drawn. But I'm just going to show you for the sake of the video that you can redraw this. You can bring this over. You can do this in any order that you really want to. You don't have to follow a specific order to draw the rectangle, but it's a good idea to make a decently sized rectangle bring it together back here. It doesn't have to be perfect or line up by any means, but we're just going to make it look a little neater here. And then finally, you're going to want to draw the detect line. So this line has to go horizontally across this rectangle. And this is going to be the collision point where the camera will detect a plate coming beyond this point. For example, in this video, we're, I'm going to be holding the plate and walking past this point in hopes of getting this camera to recognize the license plate. So we're going to draw this green line across here. Start. Now this brings me to the good plate button here. Now this button actually controls the little yellow box down here. You have to make sure that the good plate button is actually highlighted in order to move this box. Now this box is actually for the snapshot when the license plate comes and breaks the plane of the green line that we set before. And this will kind of dictate what the camera wants to see. And we're going to have the yellow box kind of to the left here because I know that I'm going to be walking in a path kind of like diagonal to the rectangle here. Just the way that we have everything set up as far as the camera. So I'm going to come down here and make sure that I save all of this information to the camera. And we're going to give it a shot. So in order to test it, we're going to click on the config LPR button again. This will bring us back to the actual live view. And then we're going to go ahead and do a test run. So, as you can see here, the camera captured the license plate. It is coincidental that the camera is able to recognize the characters very well for our example. The camera is not programmed for US-based plates. It just happens to recognize characters well in this scenario since we are testing the camera in an office environment. The camera is tended to capture still pictures of license plates to an internal SD card for manual review later. The camera doesn't have motion detection, it has plate detection. It will detect a plate in the region you specify. Lastly, if you want to record video from the camera, you could pair it with our NVR to record video as well. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up SD card recording on your IPL10 license plate camera for snapshot recording of license plates for manual review. So first, we're going to go to Setup. And we're going to go to Storage, Destination. That'll bring us to the screen that I'm already on here. And you'll want to make sure that the event type for local is selected. And you want to save that and make sure it is. Should be already enabled by default. And then you're going to want to go to the local tab. And this will bring you up to see the information about your SD card. Now note we already have free space that is taken up by the SD card. So that enables us to query the pictures that we already have of us testing the camera. But in case that the status up here shows undefined or abnormal, you're going to go to want to click and format the SD card. Now to pull up snapshots that you've already taken, you're going to go to the query tab up here at the top. Then you're going to go to start time and you're going to edit this and modify it for the day and time that you want to search for. So we're just going to search here and we have we see that we have the one snapshot. You can double click this and it'll open it up in your your photo viewer on your computer or you can also go to live and as it captures them you can see them here and this is the recorded 
snapshot. But here you can search for the recorded snapshots and also download it. Thank you for watching.